Hello guys and welcome to episode number nine. Now we're on episode number nine of Project Pathos. First of all, thank you very much for the response. It is appreciated. Now before we start guys, I've just got to say thank you very much for Pathos FC for sending me loads of great goodies. I'm wearing a, I'm currently wearing a signed shirt, a signed Pathos shirt, signed by all the players. And in fact, you can actually see Jason Punchin's uh, signature there as well, which is great. So first of all, thank you very much. He sent me loads of goodies. He sent me this cool scarf as well. And I tell you what, Let's wear it. Three, two, one. There we go, ultra style. So, guys, as you can see, guys, this Friday you can win your very own little Tiger Woods Funko Pop. Now, it's pretty tribute. It's pretty of a tribute to be fair because we've just heard about the uh, the devastating news basically that he's just broke his leg in a car crash. Uh, so, Tiger, I know you do watch this channel, so please get well soon. What's that? You don't watch this channel? Why not? Anyway, uh, get well soon, Tiger. That's all I can say. So, guys, as you can see, you don't always win football prizes on this channel. You can win anything. And this this Friday is a Tiger Woods Funko Pop. So, guys, let's get straight into the save. Now, if you guys watched the Twitch uh, the Twitch channel yesterday, uh, last night, you would see that we, we did really well. We was unbeaten. Um, we... We we did really well. That's all I can say. We did really well. Now, if you go to the, if we go to the schedule and let's see the games that we did play. So we actually started on this ammonia. We had a double header on the ammonia one, um, ammonia Nicosia. And as you can see, guys, we drew the first game one all. Um, and we uh, again we, we found out the tactics. We had a look at what we did wrong, and then we went into the second game at home and we absolutely dominated. We won four nil. Uh, Navarone Navarone four uh, with two and Oris Kusik with two. I am so devastated that we're we're losing Oris Kusik. Um, but listen, we we'll hopefully find a very good replacement for him. And then we went into the Lemassol game where we won two nil. Then we played Apoel at home where we won three one. And then we played Famagusta which we won four two. And then we play uh, when we finished the night. We finished the stream. The link is below. Um, it was a live stream. We finished the stream against Pella Marina and uh, we won four one. So we we're on a massive. We're on a big run at the minute. I think we're currently uh, nine unbeaten at the minute as well. So. Absolutely fantastic run here from Paphos. Now we're going into this game. We're going into two games now. We're going two games against Apoel. We're in the Coca-Cola Cup semi-final where we're currently three one up on aggregate as well. So we're we're more or less safe in a way. Uh, but we are we are playing away now, so it's going to be a different aspect. Uh, and then we also we're going to play that home seat of championship tie against Apoel as well. Now Apoel as well. Does that sound right? Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, what we're going to do as well, um, we are going to let you know what happened in the Olympia Nicosia game to finish off the season or the season uh, qualification, shall we say. It looks like, looking at the season, we are currently second at the minute. We're absolutely bossing it. We are currently four points behind Lenarcos. Um, and we, uh, like I said, we've got, we've got that. To the, these two games left which will finish the season uh, qualification it looks like we have already qualified so we are we have we have gotten with within that six bracket now we want to try and get that champions league qualifying spot if not we're going to get that european uh, europa league qualifying spot so guys let's get to this first game against apoel let's get to the tactics and show you first so guys this is the tactics we are going into this game against uh, against apoel with and we got we're going with Berrigade and Torres up front. We're going with two up top now. Normally we are we knew we do normally go with a three behind a one, but we are going with two up top this time. Listen, we are we three one up. We're going to give it a good go. We're going to try and kill this tie off very early. I believe it's already killed off anyway, but we're going to try and kill it off very early, and we're going to see how we get on. Uh, we are going in with a balanced mentality. We know that Berrigade has only just come back from injury, so he is lacking match fitness. Uh, only slight concerns from seven players, but mostly is green. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Pretty happy with this, uh, with this formation that we're going in with. Now, like I said, we will find out about the last league game as well. Uh, how we got on there, um, and we can get into this game. Okay, guys, I fully expect to to keep our run going here with this match. Um, certainly have faith in the guys, without a doubt. Absolutely on fire at the minute. Absolutely on fire. Now the the CETA Championship transfer window closes in a week, so. We're going to be looking at a couple of players before that end game. Uh, not in this save, we're going to probably do it on uh, tomorrow's stream on Twitch. So we're on 8 o'clock UK time on Twitch. Uh, you are about to face Applewell twice in the same week. Is this a good or bad thing in your opinion? I think it's a good thing. I quite like it. It gives you an opportunity. Uh, both teams come into this one in good form. How do you rate your chances ahead of kickoff? Of course, I'm going to be positive. Very good. Very good indeed. 
Okay, guys, so here we go. Applewell, lovely stadium. Here we go. Currently 3 1 up on aggregate. Currently 6 minutes in, and nothing too much happened yet. Applewell have started off pretty well, to be fair. Um, it's, it has, it's punching with a free kick. Jason punching, whips it in, it's knocked away. And they, they're on the counter attack here. It's Clarinade. Clarinade is. Clarinade is. In, and it's a great save from Mudco. Fantastic save there from Mudco. It's well away from the Put 15 minutes in. It's a corner rate of Papos. Villarenos with the, with the corner. Whips it in. Gets it to him. We need to sort that out there. We need to sort that out. And it's another great save from Mudco. Let me just have a quick look at our attacking. Uh, our, our corners. That's strange because there was one player back then from that attacking corner. I'm going to confirm the changes and you'll probably see a difference now. It's weird that sometimes it, it, sometimes it doesn't it doesn't kind of go with what routine you've done. Here's Zayad here for well and it's over. Okay, so we have started off really slow to be fair. We've not had one opportunity yet. I'm going to go to positive. Uh, I'm also going to go a little bit more direct and up that tempo slightly. Still stay running at defence. Everything's still fine at the minute. Um, everything's absolutely fine at the minute. And then we're just going to give a bit of a uh, encouragement shout out as well. Come on, Pathos. Come on. So, guys, I'm absolutely loving this save at the minute. And uh, thank you very much for the response. Like I said, Pathos sending me sending me some uh, goodies, which was amazing. They also sent me like a um, like a, a, a like a memorabilia thing as well. They sent me badges. It was amazing. Here's Aurelio, Aurelio with the corner, gets whipped in, keep a crap to come out of size. Here's Aurelio and back into size. Nice little ticket tackle, comes in to see Carlos. See Carlos with a shot block there. A shot block? That sounds American. With a shot block. Yeah. 42 minutes in, guys, we're doing well, we're doing well. A little encouraged shout going out again. And it's a free kick here to Applewell. I'll be very happy to go in at half time at 0 0, to be fair. The Damo, the Damo with a free kick and the Damo scores. Nice, the Damo with a goal there for Applewell. Okay, guys, so we've just scored just for our time. It's something that we really didn't want to be fair, but as you can see, we did change the tactics slightly, and as you can see, the shots now starting to come, come in. The XG starting to go up as well, uh, around, yeah, not, not too bad at all, around the 40 minute mark. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Individually, we're not playing the best at all. I was Kusik. Um, couple of key opportunities but not playing the best at all let's get into that changing room uh, we've got the aggregate league now let's make sure we hold on to it i think that's the right thing to say actually uh, we're doing really well um, i'm impressed i am impressed we are one nil down but i am still impressed it's always good to keep them motivated everything's looking good at the minute the only thing i'll say is jay Aurelio is looking a little bit down so he's keeping keeping on him he's at so at so it's a great, great tackle there from Villarreal. Inside, it's another good save from Woodco. Woodco is certainly being used today, big time. Let's try and fire up the lads a little bit just after our time. And Woodco there, absolutely fantastic leap to it from that corner there. Absolutely fantastic. 52 minutes in, guys. It is still currently 1-0 to Applewell. The ball is whipped in at Woodco. There's a goal. As you can see now, guys, there's two players at the back there from that attacking corner. Good, so it has worked. Uh, Hutchinson, Hutchinson, absolutely fantastic chapel there. And Sam Hutchinson, rug points are punching, look at that, playing out the back. Calm as you like. Oh, we took the Torres, Torres, Marcelo Torres. Marcelo Torres. Oh, look at the, the guy on loan from Boca Juniors. Here's Velarenos. Velarenos whips it in. It's not to be in the Again, again, there's just one player at the back there. We need to figure out why that is. Great tackle there. Great tackle there from the area. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're going to try and... We're going to demand a little bit more. Oh, I can't demand a little bit more. Zion for the corner. It's red for again. Red for is not letting any corners get to their attacking players. Uh, we're going to demand a little bit more, guys. Everything's fine at the minute. 63 minutes in. You know, we've still got the advantage here, without a doubt. Everything's looking good. I am going to make a change, and it is going to be Kevin Berrigade, who is playing on that right hand side actually. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring on uh, Dennis Rakels, but change Rakels for Torres. Torres can play on that right hand side. 
Uh, actually, no, we'll keep it as is. Torres can play on that right hand side. So yeah, we'll keep it as it is. So Torres, um, Dennis Rakels now comes on for Kevin Berrigay. Zayad here, Zayad into the demo. The demo will goal scorer for Apoel. Into Atze, great tackle for the Lions. And it's the demo with a shot and the demo just over the bar. Well, not just over, it's quite over the bar to be fair. So guys, Coco Cup semi-final is looking on the cards here. 75 minutes, it's a corner here. It's a, it's a free kick and it's a goal. I spoke too early guys, I spoke too early. It's Arthur Yorga, Arthur Yorga. Um, with the goal there for Apoel. It's currently free all guys. Can we uh can we get uh, the, the away goal might count here, which uh which means we do need to try and get this goal there. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the tactics slightly. I'm gonna go attacking, but I have four with uh, punching just behind. Uh, we are going to bring on Velikari as well, who is slightly injured, but he is a very good asset to us. Certainly in real life as well, on fire in real life at the minute. Uh, recently just bagged two as well for Pathos, so. 82 minutes in, can we get this? Uh, they might go through here on a way goal, which I'm not uh, looking forward to. Can we get, uh, we need to get forward, we really do need to get forward. Let's fire him up, let's get forward, let's get some shots on site. Uh, let's distribute over the top. You never know, we might get Rakels onto it. Let's get stuck in. We're going full intensity here. Can we nick this ball? If we nick this ball, we've got a chance. Come on, play the right ball. So inside, inside to Torres. Torres over to Kusik. Kusik, can you? Kusik! Great save there from Miguel. Applewell's keeping Miguel there on absolute fine form. Aurelio whips it in and he gets knocked away. It's a rough up to a really knocking one. Mate, it looks like we might be going out of the Coca Cola Cup here. Depending on. Right, no, it does go to penalties. Okay. I do need, need to read the rules next time so it doesn't give me heart palpitations. So we have got a penalty kick, guy. Uh, penalty. Penalty kick, guys. We have got penalties, guys. Uh, so we are going to look at the penalty takers. Uh, Marcel Torres, Dennis Rakels, without a doubt. Then we're going for Jao Relio. As simple as it is, really. Then we'll go for Composure, which is Punching, and uh, Oli Velikari. Uh, and then we'll go for Hutchinson. And Oli Velikari in there. Oli Velikari in there, please. In there, please. Come on, FM, please. Yep, thank you. Uh, punching as well. It would help if I could have put him in there. Uh, punching. In the six, Punchin Velakare. There we go. Okay, guys, let's do this. Penalty kick, guys. Penalty kicks. Let's do this. Don't live to regret this moment. Come on, boys. Let's do it. I have faith in you guys. I have faith. Of course, I have faith in you guys. Come on, penalty kicks. First up is Dennis Rakels. Dennis Rakels here. Dennis Rakels misses a penalty. A great save there from Miguel. There's Nui. Nui here against Rutko. Rutko does go the right way, but Nui scores. And it's 1 0 for Apoel. Here's Marcelo Torres. Marcelo Torres with a free kick. Get in there. There's basically a free, free roll out on there. Absolutely fantastic there. And Marcelo out. And Torres. Oh, and he gets a pose. Nelson gets an absolute great pose. And it goes level again, guys. There's Aurelio. Aurelio here with the penalty. Aurelio gets in there. Keep going the right way, but it's too much. Oh, Miguel, the upper left goal beacon. Here's Axel from Rubco. Save the Axel penalty. Oh, he doesn't. He goes the right way, but it's just, just too powerful for him. Here we go. Jason Punchman knows what he's doing. Calm, collective. Get in there. Bottom left back. Pass Miguel. No. No worries at all. There's Nan Su. Nan Su against Rico. Nan Su! This is a, this is nail back there. Oni Bellacara on form in the line. Can he put his penalty in? Oni Bellacara, he's got the. He does as well. Bottom left back. Guys, it's this. It is this. Can Rico save or can Apple miss his hand to put Pathos through to the semi final of the Coca Cola Cup? And it is the goal scorer in the game, the demo. 
And Ben away with a free kick, uh, the penalty, I keep saying free kick, with a penalty. And you can score that very easy. There he is, Samak Chusin, ex Sheffield runs there, Samak Chusin. He's got the composure, can he finish it? He does as well. Puts us in ad advantage, come on. Advantage here, advantage to Pathos. Rudko walking up as if he owns that goal, and it is Zayed. Zayed, Zayed with the pity. He goes the right way. Here he is, Valerinus. Valerinus now, we are going over him. He's going into auto mode now, and it is Valerinus. That was absolutely fantastic. It was probably six back to back off on penalties, so it was advantage back off as he got on. It's Rudko against Caredes. Gerard, Geraldes, Geraldes. Come on, Rudko, please, please. Geraldes there, Geraldes, another penalty. There he is, Oris Kusik. Surely Oris Kusik cannot miss. Please, Oris Kusik. Oris Kusik does miss. The game we've been on, probably, what, what, probably our player of the season, is, is on the verge of making a penalty miss to put Pafos out there. And it is La France. La France against Rudko. Is Pafos going out the Coca-Cola for pay? They do. It is disappointing, guys. It is disappointing. Okay, listen, we're concentrating on the league now, don't get me wrong. And it is penalties, it is a lottery. But, oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted. We didn't play well that game, to be fair. As you can see, we didn't play well at all. Uh, let's have a quick look at the match stats. We did not play well at all there. Um, Next year, we did, you know, it was okay, 50, nearly 50 50 possession, but yeah, we just didn't work individually, we just didn't play well at all. Gutty guys, guys, let's get to let's beat Applewell now in the league and let's see if we can push on that when I cross the first spot. So, guys, this is a team that we are going into the second game against Applewell with, and we're going with Berrigade and Torres up top again. Uh, we're going with Zakehouse on the right, Kusik on the left. Kusik, obviously, the penalty miss, and I'm absolutely gutted about getting knocked out of the Coca Cola Cup, but listen, it is what it is. And we're going with Velikari just behind four, actually, instead of Punchin. Punchin didn't have the best game last game, so we're going to go with something a little bit different. Now, I just want to apologise if the, the, the sound of this match was quite high uh, on the last one. Um, I have turned it down now, so hopefully it shouldn't be as high as it was. Uh, my apologies on that, but it was a big game, so the crowd was obviously very happy. So, guys, let's get into this game now. Let's, let's, do, let's do one over on... Uh, Let's do one over on uh, Applewell here because we've normally had a pretty good, uh, pretty good outing with Applewell, but unfortunately, getting knocked out of the cup is just a bit gutted to be fair. Recent form standings. Let's uh, let's give them a bit of a G up. Of course, the the thing that I go in with the most is about faith. Uh, keep them happy. How are you approaching the task of breaching the seed championship best defense? I think we'll do good. Yeah, without a doubt. Applewell's recent run of form is fourth in the seed championship. Yeah, but we're third. We're third, I believe. So. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put my headphones on and check the, uh, the sound. Okay, sounds a little bit better now. Sounds a little bit better. My apologies if I've uh, burst your eardrums. Okay, guys, we're seven minutes in. Apoel have started it well. Um, Apoel have started it well. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Narcos are playing uh, Salamine at, at home, so it's not going to be the. Uh, it's not going to be the best outcome for us because uh, I believe that they're going to beat Salamine without a doubt. Here's Torres. Torres on that right-hand side. I'm absolutely gutted, guys, because even though it's on penalties, it's, it's obviously a defeat and we've been on an absolute, absolute fine form. Kusik into Torres. Torres out to Berrigade. Berrigade to Velikari. Four. It's Torres. Good football there. Very good football there. Great tiki taka outside that box. Uh, so as we, as we stand at the minute, we are four points behind Lenarcos live. Uh, but they could reduce one. We could increase two. So we could go one point behind them. Here's Velarenos. Velarenos inside to four. Four. Just inside to Velicara. Torres. Torres to Zay Carlos. There's Jao Aurelio. Aurelio with a shot. And it's saved by Miguel. Oh, Miguel. <laughs> Didn't like you before in the last game, mate. You played well. He played well. Here's Valente. Valente into Aner. Aner to Valente. Great save from Rudko. Fantastic save. The scenery there doesn't really look like Cyprus, does it? Oh, don't get me wrong, the sun is shining, which is always Paphos, without a doubt. But okay, a little encouraged shout going out. 
we'll still stay balanced for a minute. In fact, you know what? Let's go to positive. And it's oh wow, it was a free kick anyway. He was offside, but wow, that was a a good opportunity there. Lenarco still nil nil at the minute. Here's Valente. Valente on that left hand side for Apollo. Good little football there, but can we nick it? Normally in these situations we do nick it. Can we put the pressure on here? Can we put the pressure on? We do. We do put the pressure on. We do nick it. Here's Kusick. Or is Kusick over the top to Kevin Berrigade. Berrigade with the shot. Miguel. What a save. What a save there from Miguel. Lenarcos is still nil nil at the minute, guys. 31 minutes in. Okay, a little encouraged shout going out. We're doing okay at the minute. We're not doing too bad. Individually, we're not doing the best, to be honest, but hopefully we'll pick that up. Here's Velarenos. Can he whip it down the line? He does. Tries to find Doris Kusik, but he doesn't find him. We're going to have to go a bit shorter on them passing. Can we get across? Get in. Oh, away. Okay, 35 minutes in guys we do need to pick it up here we do need to pick up we are at home we need to pick it up a little bit let's go shorter on the passes let's reduce the tempo slightly but let's let it be a little bit more expressive everything else is fine let's get stuck in a little bit actually just for half time let's see if we can nick something just for half time and it's not looking like it it's not looking like it okay half time nil nil nothing too much to worry about to be fair um, we're doing okay. Let's have a quick look at the lead table. Don't think nothing's really changed at the minute. No, nothing's changed at the minute. So we are, we are only three points behind. Oh, so Larkos must have. Is it? Is he? A, is he a goal in that game? There is a goal in that game, and it's Wagner. It's Wagner, guys. So we need these extra two points to go one point behind them. Wow, this is a one point behind them just before the end of the season with one with one game to go. This is nail biting. I might have to play the one game on tomorrow's episode if uh, if this ends up being the case on tomorrow's stream. Sorry, live stream. If we get these extra two points, definitely, uh, definitely do it on the on the on the live stream tomorrow. XG is looking good at the minute, guys. Everything's looking okay at the minute. Let's just see if we can uh, nick this ball. It gets knocked out. Is Wheeler? Wheeler for Applewell. Tries to play in. Berrigade is Torres. Torres is more or less one on one. Torres. Marcelo Torres. Yeah. Get in there, Marcelo Torres, you little beauty. Come on. Now, Silamini can keep that score line. We are only one point behind Lenarcos. Great little ball. Poor ball from Applewell to uh, set us on that counter attack. Great little through ball there to Kevin Berrigade. Ke Berrigade puts it through to Torres. Get in there. 1 0, Pafos. Come on. That puts us one point behind Lenarcos as we speak at the minute on that live league table. 69 minutes in. Everyone, you know what? Bit of a praise going out now. We're 1-0 up. Bit of a praise. Just going to go back to positive. I'm not going to be anything else but positive now in this game. Um, we're going to bring on... Hmm, it's going to be quite tough really because we've not got that much uh, at right back. Uh, at, so we're going to bring Azuri on for... Not right back, sorry. Defensive right. Uh, Aurelio is going to have to stay on. Mm, actually, I might cancel that. I might cancel that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go positive. I'm going to bring off Arajore because he is absolutely shot. That's not Arajore. He's absolutely shot and he's on a yellow card as well. So we're going to change him for Zay Carlos. And then we're going to bring on Cabral for, um, Cabral for Aurelio. And then we're also going to bring on Sam Hutchinson at the back for Arajore. Come on, two good changes there, I believe. Well, three good changes in a way because I've changed positions as well. Come on, boys, we can do well here. Come on. Here's Anair. Anair, bad ball. Cabral, the substitute. Can he score here? Cabral with a shot. Cabral with a goal. He makes it 2 0, Pafos. Get in there. Jason Cabral, get in there, you little beauty. Again, poor passing. An hospital ball there. An hospital ball from, uh, from Anair. Anair, Cabral picks it up. He's got the fresh legs, only just come on. What a what what a substitution, guys. What a substitution? Get in there. Cabral makes it 2-0 Pafos. Now all we need to do now is concentrate on that game at uh, at Lenarcos. Can Silamini do us a job and make it go down to the final day? Is Vila. Vila with the oh it's just wide there. 
Good play there from Applewell, to be fair. This is unbelievable football there, guys. Here's Zayed. Zayed whips it in. And it's great defending. Who is that at the back there? It's Velarenos. Velarenos at the back there. If we get this away, that is that is, that could be a, a match-winning get in there. Velarenos. That could be a match-winning tackle there. Absolutely fantastic. It is still 1-0 at Lenarcos, guys. It is still 1-0. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, let's make a change up top. Kevin Berrigade for Jack Vale. Jack Vale. And also, no, that, that's it. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Just keep it as that. We'll still stay positive. Uh, there's four minutes added time, so we're going to go to some instructions. We're going to whack up that time wasting. Keep it short. Let's reduce the tempo to our level. Come on, Paphos. It's game over. It is game over. Get in there. That is a massive, massive win there. So we did get beat of them in the in the in, in the Coca Cola Cup, but we have just beat them in the league, which is a bit more important to be fair. As you can see, guys, that was a game of two halves really. We absolutely played fantastic, absolutely fantastic there. First half, Applewell had a lot of the game. Second half, we we had a lot of the game and we took our opportunities. But as you can see, guys, fifty fifty percent possession more or less. Statistics, we are more more or less matching matching with Apple well there so guys look at the xg as well the xg is more or less similar as well all the way so absolutely fantastic result there uh, let's have a look at the league table let's see if lenarcos let's just give these guys a massive deal because it was very impressive that win absolutely fantastic does that put us just one point behind lenarcos did lenarcos get beat yes they did it puts us one point behind lenarcos so what we're going to do we're going to play the last game on stream tomorrow on twitch 8 p.m uk time Guys, make sure you're there. It'll be much, much appreciated. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a shame we went out of the Coca-Cola Cup. But listen, this is Football Manager. And remember, guys, uh, let's go to let's go to this. Remember, guys, on Friday, you can win this little fellow here. Um, again, uh, get well soon, Tiger Woods. Um, I'm a massive golf fan. Get well soon because uh, you're an absolute legend. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. I look absolutely mental. Please remember to subscribe. It is much appreciated. And I will see you on tomorrow on Twitch and on Friday on episode number 10. Guys, take care. I'll see you again. Bye.